so, after I graduate from college, I'll be able to get the kind of job I want with a good salary. That isn't too much to ask, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Great, Kevin. Okay, let's move on. Who's next? Jennifer, you're up. Me? Well, you are the last one, Jennifer. You all agreed to be on camera for this careers project. I know, I know. Whenever you're ready, Jennifer. I'm Jennifer Richards, and I've thought a lot about what I'm going to do after high school. I'm going to college, and I don't know where yet, but, but I'm going to major in... Well, I haven't quite decided. Something interesting, though, with lots of opportunity and money. <sighs> Wait a minute, hold it. <sighs> I don't mean to hold this up, Mr. Kavanaugh, but I really don't know what to say. I mean, sure, I want to make money, but, but I want to do something worthwhile. I mean, do you guys really know what you want to do yet? Come on. Let's take a break. I want to show you all something. Okay, right in here. Come on in and have a seat. These are some tapes for a documentary I'm working on for my master's degree. Now, it's not finished yet, but I wanted to show it to you anyway because, well, I think it might make you think about a career in a field that you probably haven't given a lot of thought to. What field? Just watch. It begins here and it ends here. Water. Besides air, water is our most important resource. But unless it's protected and used wisely, we may be in danger of losing it. Man's progress isn't always compatible with nature's. We produce, we use, we discard. And we expect the environment to bear the burden. But it can't. The evidence is there, in our lakes and rivers, in our wetlands, on our beaches, even in our drinking water. When we pollute, we pay. The quantity of our lives is inevitably linked, for better or worse, to the quality of our environment. So, this is a documentary on the environment. Mm-hmm. On water quality in particular. I want to I wanna move ahead. I want to move ahead to some interviews I did with people who work in water quality and pollution control. Ah. Like this biologist, for example. When I went to college, I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do, but I knew that I wanted to study science. Uh, so I took as many courses as I could in chemistry and biology. Uh, I found them very interesting. We're not always doing the same thing. Sometimes uh, we're out here on the river. Sometimes we're in the lab. It's also very uh, rewarding because uh, you're you're doing uh, something that's worthwhile. You're serving the public, providing safe drinking water. Everybody needs water. We track the bacteria, uh, certain inorganic and organic chemicals. If we're in violation, if we exceed any of the maximum contaminant levels, we have to report that to the government and then eventually to the public. What I like most about the job is it, it gives you, I guess it gives you a sense of uh, importance, a good feeling about what you're doing every day because it does have an impact on other people. Other people are relying on you to do what you're supposed to do. And it's important to me to be doing something every day that makes a difference. This woman is a chemist in a water treatment plant knows everything there is to know about water purification. I got into this field, I guess I started thinking about it when I was in high school. I had a very enthusiastic biology teacher and I went through advanced biology with her and she really enjoyed helping out the environment. So I got the background there of, of wanting to, to help our environment in some fashion. And uh, right after I got out of college, I started working in a wastewater plant and enjoyed the um, 
the chemistry that, that we did there and just continued on uh, from that job to other environmental jobs and realizing that I really enjoyed chemistry and also maybe helping the environment. Our system serves about 800,000 people. Uh, we produce about 100 million gallons of water per day. My responsibilities in the lab are mainly for the organic testing that we do. Uh, we use a gas chromatograph and we test mainly for THMs or trihalomethanes. Other organic tests that we run is called a total organic carbon. We just analyze different areas of the plant all the way from the raw water to our pump discharge water, how much organic carbon is in the water. I really enjoy what I do here. It's very challenging. Um, you're left a lot of freedom to uh, expand upon the knowledge that you have and also you're given the opportunity to to learn a lot more. Um, there's so much that's new and so much that the water industry is going to grow, new regulations that you're never going to be bored. It's, it's got a lot going for it. There's a big demand for research and development in water quality. It's a highly sophisticated field. That's neat. I love chemistry. I can get into a job like that. Only I didn't do so great in some of my science classes. Oh, well, that's okay, Ryan. I mean, you don't have to be a scientist or an engineer. Here's another interview that I think you might find interesting. We talk with a lot of water and wastewater treatment plant personnel, operations type work. See what you think about this kind of work. Basically, I monitor the functions of the plant and ensure that all the equipment as well as the instrumentation is working properly. If there is a process malfunction, it's my responsibility to get that system back online as soon as possible. Some of our equipment can be pretty expensive, costing as much as several hundred thousand dollars. This is our master control panel, and from this center we have full access to all of our pumps, our backwashing system, and it virtually allows us to know what's happening throughout the system. We are doing something to help our rivers, and in this day and age when there's so much emphasis on the environment, it, it gives you a good feeling to know that you're doing your part. My job as an operator down at the Blue Plains Wastewater Treatment Facility to me is just as important as a fireman putting out a fire or a policeman stopping crime in a city. My job is to take dirty water and turn it into clean water. We have like five or six different facilities in which you have secondary treatment, primary treatment, dewatering, heat exchange, and the last multimedia. The main reason for me being an operator and being successful in it is my caring for the water discharge into our river to keep our fish healthy and keep our water clean. Mr. Cavanaugh, my brother's an engineer and he really likes his work. Are there any engineering jobs in water quality? Oh yeah, sure. It's a big field for environmental engineers. We interviewed a dozen. There's civil and design engineers, electrical and mechanical engineers. What is that? It's called computer-assisted design. It's used a lot in engineering. Six foot. And it's yellow because it's new. Right. It looks good. This has been an example of computer-aided design and drafting. CAD is a way in which environmental engineers, in cooperation with a CAD operator, prepare the plans and designs which are used to construct the facilities which we design to protect the environment, to provide safe drinking water, to make sure that the wastewater going into streams is free of contaminants and that the public health is protected. I receive a great deal of satisfaction in being an environmental engineer. I feel that I am genuinely having an impact on cleaning up the environment and making the uh, earth a safer place for future generations. Our firm is an engineering, architectural, and planning firm with major areas of emphasis in, the area, in transportation and water and wastewater. A project that we dealt with early in our career which gave us a great deal of satisfaction and helped to establish us in the water and wastewater area was our participation in the deep tunnel and reservoir program for a major Midwest city. This project 
permitted the storage of rainwater during periods of heavy precipitation in order that this water could be fed into the treatment facility at a rate in which it could be treated prior to being let out into the waterways and the streams in the area. My personal background and training which led me into this area include undergraduate work in construction engineering and graduate work in geotechnical engineering. The thing that appeals to me most about engineering and the water quality area in general is the fact that we make a substantial contribution to the health and well-being of the citizens of our country and I get a great enjoyment and pleasure out of seeing the things that we have designed put into action for the service of the communities in which we work. Mr. Cavanaugh, I think I want a job where I'm out meeting people and changing the way people think. Are there any jobs like that in water quality? Okay. There are a number of jobs you can choose from in water quality. You might consider a technical support role. How about education, policy making, lobbying, financing? That sounds more like me. <laughs> I'm going to show you a couple of interviews. This first one's with a lawyer who deals with environmental issues. Uh, he really gets into his work. Makes a good deal of money at it, too. I uh, started off as a science major in college, very interested in the environment and in, and in water, and actually became an earth space science teacher, teaching ninth grade for a couple years. Uh, very excited about being outside, enjoying the environment, uh, enjoying canoeing and all the things of that nature. And finally decided that I would really like to do something more on a, a full-time basis that I could actually actively uh, improve uh, the water around the country. So I actually went to law school and came to this law firm where I work with 30 attorneys here uh, specializing with environmental law and construction law. And what we do is we work for municipalities and contractors and engineers around the country who are involved with building uh, wastewater treatment projects and uh, water projects uh, and Superfund cleanup projects, all designed to clean the groundwater and the water that's being discharged into the, the rivers and waterways. Everything that we do has a direct bearing on the water. Uh, if you're just taking oil from your automobile and dumping it in your back lawn, that's going to make its way into the groundwater and contaminate the water. The environment can be cleaned up. It is not too late. And so it's uh, something I've really enjoyed doing. And uh, it, it truly is something that every day I know when I come into my office, I'm going to do something that's uh, very meaningful to me and very worthwhile. I see a direct impact every day with what I'm doing. I know that what I do is going to cause a municipality to be able to do something to improve their water. Here's something else you may be interested in, Jennifer. This woman regulates industry to make sure it doesn't pollute the environment. Well, EPA's role is uh, to regulate industry, uh, ensure that industry uh, does not cause problems for the environment, and then more and more uh, we've gotten into the business of dealing with the average individual and the things that you and I do that might cause environmental problems. Uh, how we dispose of our trash, whether or not we recycle the products that we use, what kinds of products we buy. Working in the water quality protection area is especially rewarding, I think, because it's very concrete. We can go out and we can see the water body. With uh, water, we know rivers that we love, lakes that we love, uh, beaches, uh, uh, bays that people really care about. It's very uh, nice to be able to go out and find that people in a community where you're working care a lot about what you're doing and really support the work that you're doing. There are thousands of regulatory opportunities throughout the nation. Aside from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, which has regional offices throughout the country, each state has its own agency as well. So you see, it's something to think about. I'm Jennifer Richards, and, and I know that whatever it is I decide to do, it'll have a purpose. It'll be in a field where I know I can make a worthwhile contribution to the environment. After all, we're going to have to live in this world. We all are. It just makes sense to preserve it, right? I don't know exactly what I want to do yet, but after finding out a little about water quality, I think a job in that field would be pretty interesting. I wouldn't just make a living. I'd make a difference. The environment, water especially, is so important and needs to be protected. You've given me a lot to think about, and there's so many career options, too.